So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing. And I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming. And he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game. And his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. This guy has the ability to take shots that would put other fighters out, absorb the punishment, and just with sheer toughness, come back from the brink of defeat and achieve victory. Well, when we talk about sound defensive fighters, that conversation oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz, but I'm gonna enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them, gets the head off the center line, uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense, and he stays so relaxed in there, Joe, because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles. Very, very smart, sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. This guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon. The speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world class. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He's at five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, monster. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 243 pounds, fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, the king! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here in the Ready, heavyweight right. division. Ready. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that oh, nice take down. slams into the canvas with authority. Tries to pass, but can't. Big punch from the bottom. He gets that double underhooks. He pummels out a double underhooks. Works the double underhooks here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Tying him up here in the clinch. He's got over and under here. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. And he gets the takedown. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's looking for that choke. This looks very tight. I think he's got it locked up. And this might just be a matter of time. Stunning. And that will Stunning. Do it. And he really made it look easy. Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep. And his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. 
And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. To bring the winner by a tap out, the King! Well, the celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week, that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough to take his career.